XRP fans, we're going to dive into news and information surrounding Ripple, XRP, Russia, China, and the BRICS nations. There is a lot of information that's going on around there. Some of it's good, some of it's misleading. So I'm going to dissect certain articles and we're going to go through and see what technology is being used for some of these transactions. Now, I want to be perfectly clear. There are banks within the BRICS that are Ripple enabled. I definitely see transactions being conducted through the XRP ledger, but not every transaction will run through the XRP ledger is what I'm trying to explain. So the way how the information is being presented, it's making people believe that Ripple created the BRICS payment system, that Ripple is involved with the Chinese infrastructure, that they're involved in creating the Russian infrastructure, they're making it seem like it's all going to run on Ripple, like on the XRP ledger, and that is false. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I believe in diversification. I love XRP, but I want to know exactly what is going on because there's other awesome blockchain projects too to put your money in. I hold XRP because I believe in it, and I know it's going to be a high price. The utility is going to be excellent, and it is one of the leading networks, if not the leading network around the world particularly when it comes to blockchain payment system. Now, there's other amazing networks out there, other projects out there, such as the XTC network, Stellar, Hedera, Algorand, Casper, Quant, you know, the list goes on. Again, people, don't misinterpret what I'm trying to say, please. I'm very bullish on XRP. It's just that people may put, like, everything into one project thinking that this is going to be the only project that's really going to make it and that's what I'm trying to distinguish so when it comes to the BRICS payment system I want to show you some articles that proves that there's going to be cross-border transactions between Russia and China and China and other nations for example and in fact they've already conducted some test transactions they're using Chinese technology for those particular transactions and we're probably going to see Russian technology rise up as well. We're going to see interoperability. I'm hoping that this will give people a, a vision or a view in their head of how all these networks are going to interoperate and how these transactions are going to be conducted. It's going to be a very complex network, but it's going to be a, an incredible network, much better than the system that we have today. So I'm very bullish on XRP. We're going to see transactions on the XRP ledger for sure. More good news is that there is a couple Chinese banks that are a partner with Ripple. So this whole landscape is about to change dramatically. When it comes to Russia, that's a bit of a different story, mainly because of the Ukraine war going on. So I hope you do enjoy the content. Please do consider subscribing. Also hit the like and share with friends and family. Let's go ahead and dive in. One of the many reasons I love using Decent Wallet is the fact they offer different products. They offer different wallet types, unlike other wallet companies. They give you more options. First, I want to start off with the card wallet. The Decent All-in-One Card Wallet is your complete solution for your crypto and NFTs, and it's the size of a credit card, so it's nice and sleek and can easily fit in your pocket. You can secure crypto and NFTs offline with its secure chip. The card wallet offers ultimate convenience. All-in-one card wallet connects to your phone via NFC to manage your crypto assets on the go. I personally like to hold the majority of my assets on the hardware wallet and I keep a little bit on my card wallet. The biometric wallet is the flagship of Descent Wallet. It is my personal favorite. It's a hardware wallet that connects directly through your Bluetooth to your phone. You can hold over 2,000 different types of crypto assets. It's incredible. It uses a high-grade secure EAL5 chip that's used by top financial industries around the world because of its high security. You can safely store not only crypto assets, but also NFTs. You can access marketplaces. You can swap. You can purchase. Uh, you can also exchange. It's pretty awesome. Directly and safely convenient from the wallet. Now, if you're interested in getting your hands on either the hardware wallet or the card wallet, or maybe both. Or if you want to check out the two package hardware wallet deal, there's incredible too good to be true discounts in the description below. Check it out and enjoy. Now, before I dive in and show you the technology that's being created by China and Russia, for example, I want to show you this article that's misleading the public. Now, again, I'm very bullish on XRP and there are banks within the BRICS nations that are partnered with Ripple. 
but not every technology involves Ripple. I just want to be very clear with that. And this is misleading people. BRICS Coalition eyes Ripple for a new financial order. Is this the awaited XRP price pump trigger? Here's another misleading headline. BRICS considers XRP a potential leap for cross-border payments. What do they actually mean by BRICS consider XRP? That doesn't even make sense. Like, how did this come about? You know, like, were they just singling out Russia? When I dive into this video, you have a better understanding of the technology that's actually being created and laid out by world powers such as China and Russia. All right, first, let's dive into this article from Ledger Insights. This is a great article that's going to give us a better idea of who is behind the technology and how this is going to interoperate with the XRP Ledger. Just as I stated in the previous videos, I've always stated that it's going to interoperate. We're going to see partnerships. I believe that it's going to connect with the BRICS nations, with the XRP Ledger. But is it directly, are they behind, is Ripple behind all of the technology? No, that's not the case. And in fact, Russia and China are creating their own infrastructure. So Russia to start using CBDC for cross-border payments in 2025. This is an article that was just put out last month from Ledger Insights. Russia intends to perform its first cross-border payments using a digital ruble in the second half of 2025. Central bank digital currency transactions with China or Belarus are on the cards. That's according to Anatoly, who chairs the Financial Markets Committee of Russia State Duma. Before I continue, I just want to state that there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of unclear information. There's some good information, but it's not very clear. And it's giving a lot of people the indication that they think that every transaction is going to be conducted with the BRICS through the XRP ledger. And they also have an indication that even their domestic payments or BRICS pay within the BRICS nations is going to be the XRP ledger. And that is not the case. But again, will this interoperate? Are there partnerships? Most likely. And in fact, I've proven that in a previous video that a lot of these BRICS uh, banks are already partnered with Ripple. So this is definitely a good thing for the XRP ledger. But people, they may want to know what actually is going on and who is behind this technology. So anatomically, he continues here. He says, fundamentally, there are a few countries that have been made serious progress in using national digital currencies. This is why technologically, they are simply not ready to launch a digital currency in mutual settlements with other countries. However, he continues, I am confident that it will be a common practice within five years, he said, according to the state news agency. And it totally continues, the Chinese have made good progress with the digital yuan. China is clear in this sense. Both we and they already have certain experience, which is why with China, it would be interesting to launch the process of settlements in digital currencies. Technologically, we are quite close. It would also be possible to have a try with Belarus as well, since it is a friendlier country. Just clearing the information, they are not behind every single thing. The digital yuan was not created by Ripple. Ripple was not even part of the digital yuan. Not only that, but most likely Russia is going to be following the footsteps of China. Ripple is not going to be behind creating the digital ruble. And a lot of this infrastructure is Chinese and it's probably going to be Russian. They're still working on it, it says. Continues here that China has multiple CBDC projects. There's a digital yuan, the domestic CBDC that has been used for a few international payments. Plus, there's also Embridge, the cross-border CBDC initiative where China is the software architect. Additionally, there's some discussions of BRICS Bridge project where both China and Russia, don't forget their world powers, are BRICS members. Will XRP Ledger interoperate? Yes, it's most likely going to interoperate with this. There's probably going to be partnerships and with these banks too. But if you check this out, China has already been do, uh, conducting, they've already conducted CBDC transactions. That didn't touch the XRP Ledger. Now I want to show you this press release from the Treasury of the United States. Now this proves that Russia is creating its own technology. There is one project on here, Master Chain, which Ripple was actually part of. That was part of the testing. 
but that there's an old document which was before the Ukraine war, and it was testing it out. Um, as far as interoperability goes and partnerships, I believe that we're going to have to see something settle with the war because as, the way how it is right now, they're, they're developing their own technology, and they have a lot of different options and solutions that they can choose from. But Master Chain was a project in the past where they were actually using the XRP ledger, and I'll get to that in just a moment. Just highlighted this here, Russia is increasingly turning to alternative payment mechanisms to circumvent U.S. sanctions. Now, this Forbes article of Forbes and Ashish Birla, who is Senior Vice President of Product at Ripple, this came out shortly after the war just started. This is uh, right after the sanctions were hitting and, you know, the effects of the war. So a lot has changed, but I like to uh, stay hopeful. But as right now, uh, Ripple would not help Russia circumvent. Is there going to be some indirect ways? I think it's potential. But, you know, until this war clears out with any direct partnership with Russia, that's to be determined, you know. So we're just going to have to keep our eyes open. But I want to go through this. So despite prognostications that crypto would explode in use from Russians trying to evade sanctions, Burla is skeptical that the volume of trading available could begin to reach 50 billion in FX trading that Russia engaged in daily before sanctions. He also, this is important here, he also points to the fact that exchanges are mostly regulated, unlike the perception of some pirate systems. And I want to go into another do, um, article that points out something similar, that even if they were somehow going to circumvent and Ripple was going to be directly involved, the local authorities would even uphold the law. Continues here that while RippleNet wouldn't help Russia circumvent sanctions, RippleNet at the time, it's on-demand liquidity now. The country itself, as well as some neighbors, are working on potential workarounds. Those are those workarounds that I was talking about. All right, so back to this Treasury press release. We have several different Russian technologies that are developing not only cross-border payments, but also uh, domestic payments and so on. So, for example, we got B Crypto is a Moscow-based fintech company that is partnered with OFAC-designated Rosbank to facilitate cross-border settlements for Russian exporters using virtual currencies. Next, we see MasterChain. Now, MasterChain was actually working with Ripple. They worked with several other uh, different technologies, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, but Ripple was one of them. It also mentioned in the same document, Swift. So MasterChain is a Moscow-based fintech company that has agreements to issue digital financial assets, a term in Russia's legal framework that refers to blockchain-based tokens that confer digital rights with various OFAC-designated Russian banks. All right, let's dive into this document from the Atlantis Press. It's an older document. It's potentially good news for XRP fans. Now, the reason why I stress potentially, the word potentially, is because there's a couple of facts that we have to establish to get a good idea of what could be going on. Number one, this is before the Ukraine war. Two, it even mentions SWIFT in here. So we definitely know that, that Russia is not going to be doing anything with SWIFT. So it does mention Ripple by name. It also mentions, look at this, Corda. It also uh, mentions Hyperledger. It also uh, mentions SWIFT, SWIFT GPI, which can leverage blockchain. Anybody who has been researching that. So we got SWIFT GPI. Now, this seems promising, but we're going to have to wait and see what actually comes out of this. One of toolkit projects based on the mechanisms of blockchain technology was the Bank of Russia's project on cross-border transfers implementation. In the first half of 2018, the Bank of Russia, a major bank of Russia's innovative laboratory, conducted research on testing the possibility of cross-border settlements using the Ripple platform. The system technology assumed that the settlement participants had special accounts open in national payment systems and addresses in the Ripple network. Reflection of operations in national payment systems could be performed both after each transfer and at the end of the trading day or at certain intervals. Based on the research results, it was concluded that the Ripple platform can be considered as the basis for starting work on creating a system of cross-border settlements now I'd like to show you this article that was put out shortly after sanctions. 
Russia cut off SWIFT may open new opportunities for Ripple and XRP. Now that Russia has been excluded from SWIFT, many wonder whether Vladimir Putin's country could then use cryptocurrencies to circumvent this exclusion from the classic global financial system. Now, let's go through the scenario, the negative case and the positive case. Now, this reflect the negative negative case reflects to what Ashish Birla was stating. There is little threat to digital payment blockchain and crypto as a whole from Russia and Swift case. While this development offers a great potential for Ripple as cross-border payment alternative to Swift, the negative case though is if Russia wanted to use crypto as a Swift replacement to make international payments. You have to keep in mind this is an older article and Russia is currently creating their own technology right now. Continues that the other side of the payments would be under regulation and scrutiny by local authorities. Right there, that was basically similar to what Ashish Birla was stating. Crypto offers confidentiality as crypto does not make payments anonymous. Even though Russian central banks tested Ripple in the past as a cross-border payment alternative such as uh, SmartBridge, it is hard to believe that it would select a U.S. company as an alternative to SWIFT in the current situation, unfortunately. The positive case is, on the other hand, the U.S. may realize that its best shot at deploying a U.S.-based cross-border payment system is actually Ripple itself. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed the different perspective in this video. That kind of gives you an idea, a different idea of what could be going on. Remember that a lot of content creators are enthusiasts. Not everybody knows all the facts. There's a lot of information swimming around, and we all learn together. We all are able to understand this whole system better. So if you did enjoy the content, please consider subscribing so you can stay up to date and share it with friends and family and hit the like. Thank you.